Hi, Zach Pater here, River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. Wanted to take you through a beautiful, fresh trade-in. This here is a 2017 Sea Ray 350 Dancer. A very, very nice boat. Starting on the outside, you'll see it's got a windless anchor. Beautiful side windows in this boat. We'll see that more when we get into the cabin. The bottom is nice and freshly painted. I think that was done last summer, actually. Bow thruster underneath. Take a look up top, you've got a hard top. As we work our way to the back of the boat, you'll see it's even got the sure shade, which is really a cool feature. Continuing our way to the back of the boat, it does have the extended swim platform. It is not a hydraulic platform, but it is an extended platform and it is big. I love how they did it all one level. And this does have the teak platform and teak cockpit. As we take a look at a few other things, the sure shade is very cool. And the hard top does have the sun uh, sun top if you will or the hard tops got the opening there, which is very nice So uh, from there, let's take a jump on board All right, so as we jump on board like I mentioned the nice big swim platform is very cool all teak You have storage in the back your shore power is right back here stereo speakers on the back as you walk in nice big transom door You've got stereo controls, you've got your transom shower, there's side steps to get off the dock if you can't get off from the uh, swim platform. The cockpit layout is awesome. 11 foot 4 beam, you have this nice U-shaped seating back here. They do a cool job with the Simtex, it actually stays very nice and very cool. As you work your way inside the boat, you can kind of see all that nice teak flooring that gives it a pretty upscale look. You've got a wet bar, your sink, there is a fridge underneath. Working your way forward, you've got that port side lounge. That is an extremely comfortable lounge. And a nice little backrest to it. Cup holders, again, all the teak trim. Work your way over to the dash. Start with the helm seat. The helm seat is extremely comfortable. It's got dual flip up bolsters. I like how they cut the backs out to give you a little bit of airflow. Work your way to the dash area here, and it is crisp, clean, and it is very upscale. Easy to use switches, you've got a Raymarine Axiom, spotlight controls, tilt steering, digital throttle and shift. This is a V-drive boat, by the way. This is not a stern drive boat. You have your bow thruster control right there, easy to access. VHF radio underneath. Uh, your start and stop buttons right underneath there. Single lever, single lever control. Um, docking mode, everything you could want. It does have Mercury Vessel View, along with your SmartCraft gauges up top. Cup holders, just a great setup. If you can't tell, I'm pretty excited about this boat because it truly has a lot of features. I'm not a Sea Ray dealer, but this boat has hit a home run. I love how you enter the bow. It's got the teak on the steps, which is very nice. It also has an opening plate here where you can actually get more accessibility. You can simply flip it up and that way your walk through is nice and easy to go up onto the bow. When you go up onto the bow, you've got full sun pads, access to the windlass, love the speakers up on the front, and then the sun pads can recline as well. Simply flip them up and you've got these really cool reclining sun pads in the front. I also like, if it's probably hard to tell in video, but the decks are very flat, so they're very easy to walk around. Work your way up to the front again. You've got foot pedal controls for the windlass, your spotlight, just a very good looking setup. From there, let's take a look down inside the cabin. All right, so you step yourself down inside the cabin and this is really where I think the 350 dancers of this era come to life. You look at the size, you look at the windows, it's got nice deck windows. The fit and finish when it comes to their cabinetry, their upholsteries, it is beautiful. The forward bed is nice. You have side steps to get into the bed. There is closet space and, closet space and storage everywhere. Little side seat here off to the port side. Right behind that is actually where your power panel is. You've got your TV. Work your way over to the other side of the boat. You've got a nice big L-shaped lounge that can be made into another sleeping area. The table can actually fold out. So on both sides you have access. It's just huge. It's very, very cool, very well done. 
Work your way over to the galley. It's compact, but very usable. Has everything you could want. Good amount of uh, countertop space. I like how they covered the sink. Flat top cooktop, your refrigerator underneath. Storage, microwave up above. Very, very good looking layout in this 350. Now the mid cabin, I would say this is a surprisingly nice part of the whole boat. They open it up so you can actually walk through here. It doesn't feel confined when you walk inside. You've got a nice little side seat. You've got a closet in the back. And then you've got what can be either twin beds or it can be one large bed. See the back there, you got the filler cushions for out on the back as well. The flooring in the boat, they do a wood flooring. It looks very sharp. From there, let's take a look at the head compartment. So you walk into the head, you got a full length mirror on the back side of the door. It is all vacuum flush. You've got teak flooring, love the teak accents. That cool uh, dish style uh, sink there. Full fiberglass line shower. Just a very good head compartment on this 350 Dancer. I mentioned earlier, this is where the uh, main panel is for your 12 volt and 120 transfers and generator is. You can also see down there, generator control panel. Um, if I'm reading that's right at 3.3 uh, hours on the gen, so it was virtually never ran. The motors are right at 159. All right, before we exit the boat, I usually don't show motor compartments, but look at this. Look at the size and the accessibility. Powered with the 8.2 megs, uh, the Horizon motors, your generators out back. That is a very clean, very well organized engine compartment on this 350 Dancer. Certainly uh, a noteworthy area of the boat. So that there's a quick interior cockpit and exterior video of this 350 Dancer, a boat that I am quite confident if you're looking to spend a whole lot less than a new 35 foot cruiser and you want one that's lightly, lightly used and truly I think this uh, style of Sun Dancer has some major appeal compared to some of the newer ones. Please give us a call. I'd be glad to answer any questions you have or set up a time to view. I don't think there'd be any disappointments on the condition, cosmetically or mechanically. And again, I'm Zach Pater here at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota, and I appreciate you taking the time to view our video.